the new day one of Nelson Mandela. Nelson Today. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> That's brilliant. What the hell? Why is he? Why is he asleep? <laughs> it's pure gunshot. <laughs> Okay, lads, listen up. I've just been talking to the captain. Has uh, anyone seen my. Um... Ah. Chaps, uh, at ease. Uh, the fireman, strike. You've heard. No. I was just saying, seeing as you're the chaps that drive the. Um... Tank? Yeah. Uh, you should be in charge of the. Uh... So, uh, to outline, I shall leave you once again, very capable hands of Sergeant. Um... To get you in the very best of firefighting. Good. Thank you very much, Captain. That was superb. Carry on. Now, lads, the boys and larger ladies of the fire service fancy a few days off to count their wonga. So we, the fifth emergency service, will be stepping in to provide fire support cover over the strike period. As of tomorrow, we are expecting to be on standby for all 999 emergency calls. Questions? Yes, Corporal. Is it true that 95% of fires are caused by chips? No, but it is true that 95% of stupid questions result in a ball booting. Now, you need to get drilled and skilled in the art of fire destruction sharpish. Full equipment check in the yard, 1400. The goddesses are in the east base, yours is 17. She's legal then? Aye, aye! She is the property of the British Army. So, McClintock, I expect you and your merry monkeys to show her due respect. Oh, don't worry, Sarge. Like the song says, we'll treat her with RSPCT. Well put. Now get a move on. Um. Doesn't it actually bother me that we can't go on strike? I mean, in some ways it's good. Because, like, like, say you were in a job that some folk want to go on strike and some folk didn't want to go on strike. It just means that here in the army, well, you can't go on strike, so you don't have to pick a side. And I think, actually, that the army's different because it's not got the kind of folk that would want to go on strike. Well, in some ways it does, because we've got, like, nurses and doctors, but there's no coal miners and, like, no train drivers, but even if they wanted to, right, even if they said, oh, look, oh, I'm not digging any more coal or whatever, they'd just be tell, like, you, get your lamp back on, you're in the army, or you just better drive that train, we need to get to Carlisle, you're in the army, and that's that.